You guys hear me? Okay. Um, a lot of people have been talking about compartmentalize, compartmentalizing in the midst of playing your season, playing Olympics, and then going back into your season. A lot of people don't know what that looks like, though, in action, compartmentalizing and locking in for all of these phases of your season. Can you explain what that looks like for the either one of you? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I think just, um, you know, I think we're good at that too. We always do that. We play in our W teams during the season and then we go overseas and play. But for specifically USA, um, we're focused on the next game. It's not even who we're playing next week, it's the very next game. So I think it comes pretty naturally. And you have to be focused on your W season when you're playing it. And then um, we do that same thing with USA. We have camps like twice a year where we have to come in and lock in. So I feel like it's pretty natural for us. Uh, next question, all the way to the right in the front row. Jesse Morrison with the next. Um, just Besides winning a gold medal, what do you all want Americans to, you know, know about you guys or take away um, about who you are or whatever? I mean, I, I think women's basketball is, is really hot right now and um, just a lot of attention around it. And um, I, I think, you know, we're going out there to show people what we're about. Um, you know, nothing changes for us, whether, you know, you're, you're playing for Team USA or, or your W team. And um, it's, it's about your brand and, and your product. And um, I, I think we're going out there to show people what we're all about. All right, next, I'm sorry. Uh, next question, we're gonna turn to Zoom and we will go to Courtney. Courtney, go ahead. And then Jackie, Courtney, then Jackie. Courtney. Uh, yes. Uh, Go ahead, Courtney. Yep, I'm here. Uh, how does this All-Star game compare to you guys' first uh, All-Star game? I mean, my first All-Star game, I barely made it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like an injury reserve. Um, yeah, and with USA, it's way different because we are playing in, like, we're taking it seriously. We have to prepare for the Olympics, so this is like a practice game for us. Um, so that's a little different than regular All-Star game, too. Okay, Jackie, you're up. Jackie? Hi, all. Um, this is for Fee. I just want to follow up on what Jesse asked, which is, you know, besides a gold medal, what do you want Team USA to bring to, I guess, Americans in this country who maybe don't know what you all are about? Um, I think if you're looking to get into sports, like this is the thing to watch. You have the best 12 players in the entire world on one team, so it's really condensed. And um, so I think it'll be really cool with you have individual players bringing their fan bases, and then maybe they see someone someone else, and they're like, okay, I love her game. I want to watch her too. So it's just more exposure. And on such a global level, the Olympics is huge. So same thing for a casual fan maybe. You know, they're turning tur – uh, flipping through the channels and they want to watch track and field, but a women's basketball game's on, they're like, I love Alyssa Thomas and how she plays, I'm gonna follow her now. So just stuff like that where it grows the game and you have more exposure. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go, staying on Zoom, we're gonna go to Chris and then Chris Dos. Chris, you're up. Appreciate it, thank you so much. My question is, how are you gonna be able to build that team chemistry for the Olympics in the short amount of time? Um, I, I mean, <laughs> we've all, played on multiple teams. I, I think, like Fee said earlier, um, a lot of us have played overseas and um, we've been on multiple teams that, you know, you, you just do what you need to do. And, and we are a lot of the top players around this league. And um, it, it's not about so much chemistry, but about going out there and, and competing as, as hard as we can and just asserting our dominance. Thank you. Next question, Christos. Hello, ladies, hope you're doing well. Uh, question for both of you. If you look back at the history of the Olympics, which was your favorite Olympic Games moment through the years? Oh, um, when we won gold last time? I mean, that was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think for me, just like growing up watching, um, you know, watching Michael Phelps go after all those golds, I mean, I mean, he's a legend for a reason, and a lot of people are, are trying just to win one, and he's won multiple, so just super impressive. Usain Bolt was fun yeah. to watch. I'll go to Jordan. Jordan, go ahead. Hey, ladies. So my question is for Alyssa. Obviously, you're making your first appearance in the Olympics. Just talk about how excited you are to go out there and represent your country. Yeah, like you said, super excited. I mean, to be 
considered an Olympian. That, that's one of the highest honors that you can, can possibly get. And um, I, I've grown up watching the Olympics with my family each and every summer. And um, I, I think I'm just looking forward to soaking it all in and, and being a part of the experience. Um, you know, not many people can say that they, they're able to do that. And, um, you know, it's not just for me. It's for Connecticut, you know, back home. So I just want everyone to, to share in this moment. Thank you. I will turn next to Nathan and then James. Nathan, James. Um, I just want to talk, uh, talk to ask you guys, uh, what does it mean for you just to re represent USA, Team USA, uh, just both of you as, team as uh, teammates? I think anytime you wear USA across your chest, it's such an honor to be able to represent your country, um, especially on such a pro prolific team. You know, we're going for number eight, and so no one wants to be the one to break that streak. So I think we're really excited to go out there and, like AT said, just be dominant in our sport. Um, and we're all great players, so to go out there and showcase that and bring, the, bring back that medal. Thank you. All right, thanks. And James? Uh, my question is for AT. When we look at the competition around the league and in terms of international basketball, we have a head coach there in the Liberty, Sandy, who's over Australia as well, and all she have our background coming from a different group. What challenge do you think other teams are going to present to you in terms of the Olympics? And do you see Australia and Sandy as a threat? Um, I, I mean, I think you got to take everyone as a threat. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we're we're going for an eighth gold medal and, um, you know, everyone's going to give us their best shot each and every night. And um, I, I think we have to approach it as if every game is a gold medal game. Um, I, I think, you know, like I said, everyone's going to play their best basketball. We're all competing for the same thing. And um, you can't underestimate anybody in, in this moment. Hey everyone, a uh, question for each if that's okay. Uh, for Alyssa, the son recently acquired Marina Mabry, just your early thoughts on the fit? Yeah, um, we're super excited about it. Um, you know, we realized we, we had some holes in our, our roster um, early on, despite the start that we had. Um, but the end goal is, is a championship for us and um, we needed some three point shooting and I think Marina is a, the ultimate competitor and she wants to win and uh, I think she fits right in with, with what we're trying to do and we're just super excited to have her. And for Fia, which area of your game are you most proud of this season? Um, I think just the mentality of growing. I think I've grown a lot in, in my time in the league and so just being really aggressive in that way, um, taking on more of a leadership role since all of my vets have retired now. <laughs> Uh, and so growing it as a leader, I think I'm most proud of. Uh, last row center. A lot of excitement coming up in the next month or so between All-Star and the Olympics, but can you talk a little bit about what it's like to transition back to the W after the Olympic break is over, and in particular, in a piece if you have any lessons uh, from your experience last time that you're going to try to apply this year? Yeah, I think just taking it one game at a time, whether I'm in W season or this season or you're overseas, you're worried about the next game, not you know a championship at the end, not what you're doing next week. You're worried about what's right in front of you. And so that's the same approach that we take with this. You know, In the first half of the season, I was worried about us winning our games. And now that we're here at All-Star, I'm worried about winning a gold medal. And they'll flip back you know, when we get back to our team. So really just compartmentalizing in that way and making sure that we're locked in on what our immediate goal is. Alyssa, B, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.